Hey guys, today we are creating the Bush Ranger and the Buzzy Bag. And then we play around with real honey and real bees. <sighs> it's been too long since we created another Fortnite skin. Two weeks ago I had a fan in the studio and he demanded that I create some more Fortnite skins and he showed two collecting cards to me. And as promised, Max, I created one of these. The Bush Ranger, a skin, a fan favorite, a community favorite. And I can't really tell you why I haven't created this amazing skin earlier. Now with all the rumors going on, if he is dead or not, I ask you to create some background stories. One last word for the creation. I used aluminum wire to create the skeleton and then used a thinner wire to tie both strings together. And now while coating with caramel brown, let me tell you the first background story. I'm hopping over to Instagram at ClayClaim. I ask you to create beautiful background stories. <clears throat> He was a little sapling that escaped from Lockjam Woodworks and he go to Holly Hedges. There he found lots of plant wood. Food. He growed and growed and then the reality disabled. Then he growed to Bush Ranger, the best NPC ever. And then he died one month ago. Look at that, even a happy ending. Thanks so much, Samus YouTube. Woohoo! Meanwhile, we are almost done with the coating process. And now that we have taken a lot of caramel brown, we also switch over to the chocolate brown. First, we make the arms very thin. It has to be realistic branches there and not just real arms. Um, in the process, I'm always adding some wooden textures. And now that we have placed him onto the plate, this is chocolate brown for the ending parts of the branches, for the feet and also the arms. This is how I did it. We cut away just a piece and replace it, replace it with a darker piece. And all we then have to do is to blend it in. And I highly recommend using a modeling tool with a soft tip, with a silicone tip, for example. Here you go. And then we add some cracks and wooden structure to the feet and later also to the arms and legs. And this is the knee. Look at that, it's such a beautiful detail. We wrap around a clay worm and blend it in. Okay, I'm really confident what the Bush Ranger looks right now. I think it's time for the next background story you made up. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a simple man. One day, he went into the forest and in the forest he was met by a fortnight rift and sucked in. He found himself in the world of Fortnite. And now every season it changes its leaves. He really liked Fortnite and the fact that a lot of people were playing for him. So he asked Simon to make it and that's how the goblin turned out. What? Wait, wait a minute. Does it mean my creation looks like a goblin? <laughs> I'm not sure if this is insulting or just an amazing story. Back to the creation. You see how the dark chocolate fingers are perfectly blending in. Create your own Bush Ranger. You can now get the Bush and Buzzy bundle together with all the tools needed to create your own Bush Ranger on clayclaim.com. We'll provide you with all the different clay colors with the white pen I'm using for the arms and legs. And we have the different types of wire plus other, plus other, 
plus all the stuff for the bees. Go check it out, clayclaim.com. It's a limited edition. We are creating a hundred of these, the Bush and Buzzy set, and also as a bundle together with all the tools to create your own Bush Ranger. Now that we finished the body of the Bush Ranger, we start creating the head. And this is really easy to create. Just take two slices of white clay and we'll just put in a tiny piece of caramel brown. You won't even notice it, but, well, it's a slight difference. At least I can see it. <laughs> And we have to get him into form, use the fingers to make um, a dance for the eyes. And now we are working on the nose. We take two layers of clay. First one, we make it very flat. Another one. And then for the mouth, you can also, well, leave it closed. I thought it would be nice to make it a little bit open, fill in some black clay. And now we switch over to the eye making tool. Look at that, maybe some teeth. Okay, these will be the position for the eyes. Oh, he looks so cute. <laughs> yeah, the head looks a little bit dirty, but I don't mind for now because we will paint white and change him anyway. Now with this mixture, mixture of white, caramel and brown, we can create these um, stripes in the face, as you can see on the blueprint as well. Yeah, the blueprint is also included in the set. I would not say it's a totally beginner's creation, but it's also not too difficult to create. Uh, we just stick it onto the body. Look at that! It's so weird seeing him without all the leaves. Well, at least this is what I am feeling right now. <laughs> yeah, what are we doing? We have some tiny branches um, sticking in his head. Well, not really sticking because he is a tree. He's a birch. Yeah, birches are one of my favorite trees, actually, and I can tell you why. Um, in my parents' home, where I used to have, where I grew up, where I used to have my room, there was a birch right in front of the window. And I really loved this sound when you fall asleep at night, you had this Yeah. What about coloring the leaves? We have a color gradient. We start at the bottom. This is just three stripes of the dark um, emerald green. Then we mix in one further bit of apple green and you get this. <coughs> this was easy. Okay, just kidding. I get asked a lot how to mix clay. Well, my grandpa um, <laughs> made a video for us. Uh, okay, nobody will believe me this, but you just twist it like this. It's the easiest way to mix two colors together. Just turning and twisting and you get this perfect clay color. Freshly baked trunk. It's a tree trunk and also a naked bush ranger. We take the white pen. We won't color him completely, just the parts attached right to the body because there will be some overlapping parts with the leaves and there is no way we can color this later after all the leaves are sticked onto the body. So this is why I am only painting him like half. This is how to create a leaf. And let me show you two types, two methods. Either way, use a knife and make thin layers. And well, here you go. Or you use this tool, the clay claim tool, the scrapping tool with this curved edge. 
and look at that. Well, it's that easy. Now we can create the detail in the middle with the tool on the other side of the scratching tool. And we start the, the dressing process. <laughs> yeah, let's call it like this. I think while I am heavily working on all the leaves, let me tell you another background story! <clears throat> he was once a regular old tree until a magical wizard casted a spell that allowed him to walk, talk and beatbox this all true until one day the magic wore off and he remains a regular tree over by risky reels. <laughs> This was fun. We are now working on the weapon belt and we have the grenades attached to it. I'm pretty sure there is a word, a name for these, which I don't know. Maybe you do. <laughs> Take some piece of black clay and we may make a belt buckle. The very tiny belt buckle. Either use a scalpel or a toothpick or something sharp to play with. Look at that. And now we can start continuing with all the leaves and put them even slightly over the belt. I switched over to the second and third clay color. As you can see from bottom to top it is getting brighter and brighter. And the last color, the very, very bright one. I'll keep this as the last color. Okay. Yeah, I also wanted to make him look nice from the back side. And this is the last mixture. This is apple green. Um, you remember just with a tiny bit of emerald green. And also these three important leaves right in the middle. Now the branches and these are one of the last trees to place. What about the grenades? How to create these beautiful tiny hand grenades? Take um, a tiny ball of clay and wrap around a very thin layer of brown clay. And it looks like this, it looks like a tiny version of a beehive, or is it a beehive? No, I don't think so. It's a pine corn, a pine corn grenade. Yeah. This is the closing mechanism. Every time you see a hand grenade, I have to think about this trailer from Far Cry 6. <laughs> yeah, so now that games comes over, which games you were hyped about, which new ones, um, I'm really lo looking forward to, to see and learn more about two games in the future. First one would be Age of Empires 4, second one Riders Republic. Yeah. We are placing everything onto the plate and ah, I want to work on the beehive and we make it really realistic. Let's first create a, f a few extra leaves which we can then glue onto the head and onto these tiny branches. But then, then we will work on the beehive and let's put him into the oven. Now, <clears throat> this is an updated version of my blueprint which we just glue over the last one. We need two slices of white, a little bit of this sun yellow and also some caramel. So this is um, yeah, the most frequently used color on this creation, this caramel. And you, you get this beautiful um, ochre yellow. Yeah, let's call it ochre yellow. <laughs> And it's quite similar to the hand grenade. Um, and I also want to introduce you to two methods. This would be the first method, but um, the disadvantage is it's not very stable. So when working with this structure in the hand, it bends, it changes. 
And I thought there must be a better way to create this and make it way more easy. Well, it looks okay. I came up with this solution after really struggling with the first version. Take a piece of cork and we'll use him as it, <laughs> it as, um, yeah, well, I just shut up. Look at what I am doing with the cork. It works perfectly. I wish I came up with this earlier. I would have come up with this earlier. Now this is the top. And after often hardening you can remove the cork very easily. And it can't also be destroyed very easily. Well, unless you really want to. Let's place the first version of the beehive onto the plate and we have to create the entrance. I'm really wondering if a bee would go inside. A real bee. This would be so funny. <laughs> Maybe if we put in some real honey. Ah, who knows. So, this is the very thin wire. Um, it's also included in the set on clayclaim.com if you want to rebuild it or you just look for a needle, a pin at home. This is supposed to be honey. And now, what about the bees? We already talked about real bees. We need black and yellow, this is obvious. And I wanted to make them as tiny as possible, but also as accurate as possible. Just like the real ones in the game. So we are just sticking together these two types of clay. And we get 10 of these bees. My aunt and uncle have real bees. They are beekeepers, uh, they do this as a hobby. Um, and I think it's really fascinating. <laughs> Freshly baked! <laughs> we come back to the bees in a minute. Let's first work on um, the Bush Ranger. These are all the weapons which we will need. Let's start with the leaves and the grenade. I'm using just a little bit of the silver pen. It's not really necessary but I thought it would be it look it would look nice then we have these tiny leaves which I also glue onto the head oh look at that he's so cute a tiny dot into the eyes and maybe also some brushes over the face and now we can also finish the arms and legs yeah I must admit this is really my favorite skin for a long time. I know the new season is coming next week. Uh, hopefully, or even this Sunday, right? Hopefully with some really cool skins we can create together. I'm reading a lot of comments saying, ah, Fortnite is dead and, um, well, but for me, I realized I still like the game and many of you still play it and like it. So why bother that this game is dead? <laughs> you have seen that I also tried a lot of different games on the channel, but it's always good to return to where um, you came from. These are included in the set as well. And this is a bit tricky, <laughs> but it looks so beautiful in the end, like real uh, wings. We just glue them onto the bees and then coloring the edges with white for this motion blur. Let's change these wires against the pins because they are really straight and even thinner. And maybe it's even easier to glue them onto these pins. Yeah, maybe we place another one right next to the entrance. Oh, looks so cool. Look at that, buzzy bag. Now I want five of the bees to fly around um, around his hand. So we glue them onto the wire. 
And then, <laughs> as promised, I'll go and visit my aunt and uncle, the beekeepers. <laughs> Guys, I guess. That's it! The Bush Ranger! And fuzzy back. Here I am in the garden of my aunt and uncle, the beekeepers, and try to find out if bees are attracted to my realistic looking honey but nobody came. Sometimes a bee came, but then again went away. It started to rain. And then my aunt had a beautiful idea. She fetched some honey, real honey, from the very same bees and some even more on a plate. And the first one is coming right now. It's inspecting the bush ranger. I really hope one of them is going inside. This is your new home. Go inside the beehive. God, no! <laughs> it's a trap! <laughs> this was so close. Thanks, bees, that I could hang out with you. <laughs> Thanks a lot to my aunt and uncle. If you want to create your own Bush Ranger and your own Buzzy Bag, I'll provide you with all the materials needed. You can get the Bush and Buzzy Bundle on clayclaim.com. Clayclaim <laughs> Where? Buzzy. <laughs> Clayclaim.com. <laughs> Everywhere on the planet bees are dying. This is what you can do. Plant a bee garden. Go chemical free for bees. Provide trees for bees. Realize what happens when the bees are gone.